Well, welcome to Spaghetti Junction. And the reason I got such a mess is because I didn't stop to measure before I ordered my new Xantrex Pro Watt 2000 inverter. Here is my old 1000 watt Pro Watt Xantrex inverter, which I've had for many years and it's done a great job for me. Uh, just wanted to upgrade, get a little, little more power. And I just went and ordered one. Didn't stop to think about the size difference. You see this one here used to park right up in this area. Worked out really good as it's out of the way. Didn't have to worry about any water issues with a water pump or anything. But now I've got this larger one, there's no way it will fit in that same spot. And also, I used to have, in my original configuration, I had the water pump parked right here, which was good because it gave me more floor space. But now that I've got the larger Xantrex inverter, uh, my best configuration for it is to mount it up against this wall. Uh, but I don't want my water pump above it. it risk a leak. Water and inverters don't mix too well. So now I'm kind of reconfiguring everything, getting everything repositioned. That's why I got the wires such a mess. I'm going to reposition the water pump down here, which from the factory, that's where it was originally. Of course, originally, originally you wouldn't have the starting battery here either. Uh, years ago when I upgraded my battery bank, I put in four six-volt batteries, and so I moved the engine starting battery to this location, which I'm just going to leave it here. It, it works works well, and I've still got extra storage under the, um, the, the, the step here, right there. And, of course, you can see my three Battleborn batteries now that I have since we since got rid of the six-volt lead-acid batteries. I love my Battleborns. i got three tucked up in there. So everything's nice and cozy, but I just got to uh, yank all this stuff out, and I'll, give, I'll get bo both of these side-by-side side to give you a better idea of the uh, size difference. Okay, I've got them side-by-side. Side. You get a better idea of the difference in size. Quite a bit of difference. Length, width. All that good stuff. Because also on my update, I realized reading my manual, I'll have to. So when we go from the 1000 to the 2000, we've got to up, upgrade our fuse from 150 amp to 250 amp, which I've already got here. And my fuse is tucked right up in there, nice and cozy. So I'll get, so I'll get that fuse changed out also. So now it's time to tidy up some wires, and hopefully when we come back, it'll it'll look just a little bit better. Okay, so here's the great reveal, and I think that's going to work for me. So I remounted the water pump down low. I got my wires all tidied up now. Things are out of the way. Got my nice 2000 watt inverter in place, and I've tested it. It's working. And remember, the only thing I had to change going from a 1000 watt to a 2000 watt, because in the manual, they recommend a minimum of a single aught cable. Well, I've got double aught welding cable. You see that right up there? Two watt cable. There it is. And then I increased my fuse size. I went from 150 amp fuse to a 250 amp fuse. Got that covered. And I think everything's in, going to be in pretty good shape. But there is, you know, you always got to think about, okay, worst case scenario, what could go wrong? So I thought, well, what could go wrong is we could always spring a leak here. Actually, I just saw a drip. I'm going to have to tighten that up. Those, those hole scramps. Give me, give me fits and I got the hose. But, um, so I got this material here, which is cutting board material. So I put that in there. There you go. And so with that, will give me a, a little divider and it won't impede any airflow all around. So if anything was to spring loose on this, that's going to prevent any water from getting near my inverter. Uh, so one last thing, and the reason, the whole reason why I got this is so I can also run my microwave. So let me show you how that works. Okay, inside the RV at the moment, I've got this set up on watts, not amps. So right now we're pulling about 94 watts with what few lights and stuff we got got, got on. And uh, let me turn this thing on here. All right. As soon as I kick that on, it's cranking up, cranking up, pulling out of the battery. We'll be pulling out 1500 watts, 1600 watts. All right, now go here to my inverter. See, it's telling me, yep, 1600 watts. Also, it jumps around. Oh, no, it's the, that's 12 volts. Pulling out 1600 watts there, and I got 12.2 volts in the battery bank. So, the reason I wanted to do this is a lot of times, let me turn this thing off. 
you know a lot of times you may be um maybe we we'll just stop late at night at the camp or not at the campground but at, at a truck stop or something like that and we're sleeping and i just want to jump up and heat something up in the microwave well before i'd have to fire up the generator maybe wake up sweet pea just because i want to heat something up in the microwave now i don't have to wake her up i can just kick that thing on for 30 40 seconds pull just a little little juice out of the battery bank and uh, i'll be good to go so all right i think i've got that all took care of i'm pretty happy with that with that upgrade so on to the next thanks for watching and have a blessed day bye bye